Hey guys, EVP Man here, and today we're taking a look at a very portable projector that's gonna give you image quality just like what you see right here. Today we're talking about the Philips Pico Max. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the Philips Pico Mac is a ultra portable projector that's gonna give you the ability to stream movies straight from the unit. And you heard that right, streaming movies directly from the Pico projector itself because it has Android built in. So you could actually go into the Aptoid Marketplace, download apps, install them on the Pico projector, and actually run them straight from the projector. Now keep in mind that if you'd like to plug in something into the projector as well, it does have an HDMI connection that's gonna support inputs up to 4K. Now the resolution that this will display is 1080p, but it can take a 4K uh, stream. So that means that if you have an Apple TV or if you have an Nvidia Shield or the new Chromecast TV, you'd be able to connect it to this device. And a matter of fact, the images that you see right here are streaming from a Chromecast TV directly into this unit. So this is gonna give you a lot of flexibility. So let's go ahead and check it out, look, look at all the features, we'll look at some of the details and see why you may wanna consider this, this holiday season. Now the Philips Eco Max includes everything you need to start movie viewing immediately right out of the box. You have a remote control, the projector itself, and you can see how tiny it is. You have a little tripod here that you can use this to kind of set this up, especially if you're using this in a camping setting. You have some batteries for your remote. You also have a USB-C cable, a power charger, and also you have a travel bag. Now the remote is very simple to use and as you can see here you have a home button, you have volume buttons, back buttons, menu buttons, the power button. Um, you can also use this as an air mouse. So it has a little air mouse pointer here and then you have okay with a directional keypad. Again, very similar to any other remotes that you see nowadays. The Philips Pico Max is a very well constructed projector. When you grab this, you feel that it's substantial. It has some decent weight to it and the construction is really nice. Uh, you see it has a glossy finish right here and you see this area, it's because this area right here where you have the box is actually a touchpad. So you can use this as a mouse to move around and to select all the options on the screens. You have a back home menu and the volume. So literally, it's like having the remote control but it's built into the projector which is really cool. On the back here, you have several things. First of all, you have the power button. This is the IR that allows this to work with the actual projector itself. Micro SD, HDMI, USB, uh, headphone jack, USB-C, one of them is for power. And then the other one is if you want to like upload content. On the side here, you have venting. In the front, you have the camera, right? It does have a built-in speaker and it also does keystoning. Um, on the bottom, you'll notice here that it has your, again, this is where you would put in your tripod and it has these rubberized feet to put it in place if you have it resting on a table. The Philips Pico Max interface is really easy to use and it's incredibly intuitive. As soon as you turn on the projector, it's gonna tell you how many minutes left you have of viewing, including the battery percentage. In addition to that, you have a series of icons that you can select, each one giving you the ability to either go into the device to configure the brightness, the contrast, the color. You also have the ability to support either iOS or Android, which means this supports AirPlay, which is really cool. It also supports Miracast, which is what you would use for your Android device. Now, as you can see on this, screen, not only do we have AppToy to download apps, and you can see I already have Hulu on this, you can also install other apps to stream. More importantly, one other thing that I always get asked about these type of projectors is can it support VPN? And you can see that we have a VPN solution there as well. So this can actually connect to Wi-Fi, and once it's connected, it will stream, right? And if you have, um, let's say if you want to use a VPN because uh, depending on the country you win, you want to you want to be able to access certain uh, streams. You could do that as well with this projector because it has the actual VPN solution built right in. Now you can install your own VPN solution too, depending on the brand that you use. Now, as you can see here, the projector comes pre-installed with Hulu and also some other streaming services. I actually prefer, even though that this is a smart projector and it can have either browsers as well as uh, Hulu streaming directly, I prefer to connect a streaming solution like either an Nvidia Shield, an Apple TV, or a Google TV. My preference right now is Google TV because of how, usability, how the usability is so great on that solution. So you could stream directly from this and use it with the VPN, or you can choose to connect on one of those external devices. My preference on all my devices, no matter if they're smart or not, is to use an external device. Now from a video quality perspective, you can see the kind of image that we're getting here. I'm actually streaming from my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra directly to the projector, and this projector is projecting on a 100 inch screen. This can take you up to 120 inches. So you can go anywhere from 100 to 120 inches, but this is 100 inch screen, and the projector is around five to six feet away from the actual screen itself. So this, I would put it in the category of being a short throw projector, not an ultra short throw. Ultra means that you'd be like 10 inches from the wall, 
Uh, short throw would be feet from the wall. And then you have some of the other projectors that have to be a longer distance, which are the normal throw. So this, I would put it more in the category of a, a short throw projector because within five feet distance, you're gonna get an image of this size. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Philips Pico Max. See you in the next one.